Hey there, it's Will Vaughan from Your Career Mastery, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about one of the easiest resume hacks that you can use to apply to your resume to make it instantly more effective at helping you land more job interviews for that dream job that you're going for. Let's get into it. So you always need to remember that the main function and the main purpose of the resume is to help you land more job interviews. That is the sole purpose of the resume. So the goal of the resume is not to instantly land you the job because it's very rare that you will have someone read your resume and want to hire you on the spot. No doubt they're going to want to put you in front of some people, hiring managers, other key stakeholders to get a feel for if you're the right person and the most attractive candidate for the particular role. So with that in mind, you want to make sure that you're doing everything you can to optimize your resume to give you the best possible chance of landing that job interview. And then once you land the job interview, you want to focus on doing everything you can to optimize for the job interview to get to the next stage of the job interview and then to get to the stage where they make an offer to you. But let's bring it back to the resume. So like I said, the main thing here is optimizing for how you can get the job interview. And by far one of the biggest mistakes that I've seen people make, and I made this mistake early on in my career, is using their resume for all their previous employment, the section on your resume, your list, all your previous roles that you had, and just listing all the day-to-day -day responsibilities that you might have had in that role. So that can be super important, right? Don't get me wrong. The responsibility section is there to show the person reading your resume the breadth of work that you can do day to day, your skills, your competencies, all that great stuff. But that is not what is going to help you land the job. And that isn't what is going to position you as the most attractive candidate for the role. And where I'm going with this is that you want to include key achievements and maybe key projects that you worked on on your resume. So like I said, responsibilities are great for showing the person reading your resume, all the things you do day to day, fantastic. But they wanna see that someone can come into their team and come into their business and have a massive impact and drive an outcome and get results. So what this means for your resume is that for each of the previous employment sections that you list out, so your, maybe your current role, the role before that, and then the role before that, you don't necessarily want to include your entire job history back to when you were working at KFC as a teenager, but you can include you know, the numerous positions you may have had, but you want to include the most detail on your most previous roles because they're going to be the most relevant positions in terms of selling you and your relevant experience for the role that you're going for. So for each of your last two to three roles, you want to list your responsibilities day to day, but you also want to list key achievements for each of those roles. And this is where you've had a massive tangible and measurable impact on the business and you want to use hard figures where appropriate. So for example, let's say you worked in a sales role, you might say your day-to-day -day responsibilities were talking to clients, you know, managing the customer relationship software, sending out emails, sending out proposals, all that sort of stuff. But then you want to have your key achievement section that talks about bringing in that $1 million client for the business, improving efficiencies in the software that you guys manage for your CRM that saved the business $200,000 in lost revenue. You wanna have tangible figures that show and demonstrate the impact that you had on the business because what is most important at the end of the day in our roles and in our career is that we have an impact, is that we drive results and that we drive big outcomes for the business that we're working for. Because if we can do that in a role, usually that's what is gonna set us up for getting that promotion, getting that bonus, getting that pay rise, but it's also the things that are gonna look great on your resume and your personal portfolio, which can help you leverage better positions, either in terms of the business that you're working, or if you wanna leave the business and take on a new role, you need points that are gonna sell you as the most attractive candidate and as someone who can step into a role, get things done, have a massive impact, and drive the business forward because at the end of the day, most of us aren't paid necessarily just to keep the lights on in the business, but to keep moving things forward, hit our KPIs, smash it out of the park and drive a great result for the business and keep it making more money. And the great thing about this too, is that if you can list out some of these key achievements on your resume, that will give you some talking points that you can reference during the job interview to again, reinforce why you're the most attractive candidate for the role, how you can step in and have a massive impact. And because the person who's gonna be interviewing you for the interview, they will have read your resume as well and they will have already got some context on your key achievements, but you can add more detail, more flavor, um, and sort of demonstrate the nuances of how you contributed to these achievements in the job interview and really go a long way in selling yourself as the most attractive candidate for the role. But like anything I talk about with resumes on this channel, you wanna make sure that you're tailoring your day-to-day -day responsibilities and the achievements 
that you mention on your resume for each application, you wanna make sure that it's tailored and that it's relevant. So you wanna start building a bank of key achievements that you've had in your role and cherry pick the ones that are most best suited for the job that you are applying for. Again, to make sure you got the best chance of landing the job interview and then landing the job and getting a great offer. So I'm Will Vaughan from Your Career Mastery. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe because there's more videos coming out each and every week to make you a more successful professional and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.